Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Frostpunk episode 2 with our series here. And so far we're doing alright, I think. Uh, I don't really know because I haven't really played, but I, we're still alive so that's good. So, a word of advice, resources shortage. We're getting short on resources, our needs are great and growing by the hour. To address this we can enact a law that will allow us to extend working hours. Open the book of laws. Nice, so extended shift. Building a city in this frozen hell requires sacrifice. People will get more done if they work longer shifts. Uh, so introducing this law, another one can be passed. So new shift length. You can extend the workday uh, in in any facility to 14 hours. Working overtime causes discontent. Discontent will rise slightly. Psh, signing that. Fourteen hours, people will barely have time to eat and sleep. Well, guess what? I'm not going to make it fourteen hours. I just want the option if I need to make fourteen hours. Don't you guys want to survive? Everybody's going to be going to work here shortly anyways. I haven't kicked you all off to work yet. Although I should. No, we'll let it. We'll let it all be for now, though. We got people being treated. We got people still homeless. We've got to get more wood so we can get these people to stop being homeless. And we can actually probably take a few people off. I'm wondering if I, about two days. I wonder if I want to keep the coal coming in or if I want to put more people on wood. Uh, we have 15 available. I'm going to put five more on wood. We're probably going to need to start collecting some steel. So let's at least put five people on steel so we can start collecting that and we'll keep five people back here for building so that'll be more wood I want to keep coal coming because obviously heat's the most important um, I'll end up pulling people off coal once I get the hunter's cabin up which I'm going to focus on next before I go for the workshop and the other tents with the medical bay set up uh, people can at least be treated if they're stuck sleeping outside so we need 20 wood for that. And having the 15 additional people there is going to help. Ooh, that takes up a lot of space. Alright, let's do the hunter's hut. Yeah, people don't like the controversial law, but it'll, uh, it'll pass. Once we get the secure food, too, we should get a little bit of hope for that. And we gotta build the cookhouse, too. Which is 20 wood. Uh, number of hungry, starving people. Efficiency, 15 raw food per day. Hot house is 30 raw food per day. Cookhouse, two food rations per raw food unit. The cookhouse prepares meals for people. Produces two food rations from one uh, one unit of raw food. Raw food is provided by hunters in hot houses and is sometimes found by scouts during their exploration. When there are no food rations to be had, people will start eating raw food. Ooh. So we'll need to get the cookhouse up quick, which means I need people to get more wood. And I'm not going to have people work for 24 hours just yet. Those 06 to 2100 is sounding pretty nice, but I'll let them be all right for now with that. Hunters leave the city to hunt in the frostland for food. They work from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. Initially, they bring up to 15 units of raw food from each hunt. Research upgrades have significantly increased hunt, hunt yield. So we need to get some more. We need to do some research once, once we get that up and running. Oh, I've only got five workers available, so five it is. I'll need to go ahead and take some people off one of these coal mines here. We'll actually pull five people off of that, so I've got them. 
I've got engineers available too, but... Yeah, let's get the cookhouse up. So that'll actually be... See, because we got people that are hungry. So that'll actually be uh, the hunter's hut and the cookhouse, which will be good. Oh, interesting. These guys are actually traveling the same path. How cool. I don't know if there's a particular reason why, but... We're actually down in this hole here. I don't know if that makes it better or worse for us. I guess it keeps the wind off, right? So we've got this. Okay, people from our convoy. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expeditions as possible. You'll need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. Okay. Uh, people from our convoy, build a workshop, build a beacon, rescue survivors from our lost expedition. So that's something i got to work on. Um, but we're going to go ahead and put, I guess, our remaining five workers on this for now. We're doing fine on coal. I probably don't need both of these running the way they are. So I'll pull five off of that and we'll keep the ten here. That gives me 15 people. I could probably just go ahead and actually do this and do this. That gives me 18 an hour and we're burning how much? Six coal. Let's see. Plus one temperature and all. I don't even know. Uh, coal consumption. Six coal per hour and we're getting 18 an hour. So yeah, we're, we're going to be good. Uh, the temperature in the city is constantly changing. Pay close attention to the forecast for the next five days that is shown to the right of the temperature. So, ah. Uh, uh, thermometer icon indicates the direction of the temperature change. Hover the mouse over it for details. When it gets colder outside, uh, the temperature inside buildings drops as well. Buildings differ in the amount of protection they offer from the cold. To see all the factors affecting temperature in a building, hover the mouse over the thermometer icon in its panel. Okay. These are all good for now. Temperature, the temperature will rise. Temperature will drop significantly to levels. Oh, but we're pretty good right now. Oh, Hunter is going out. I'm guessing. And we can do a new law already. Yeah, I'm assuming that was a hunter getting ready to leave or something. Um, all right, what do we got for a new law? Book of Laws. What what can we go for next? Fighting arena, child labor. Whoa. Some of these are crazy. Radical treatment, sustained life. Um, fighting arena. Nothing relieves tension better than watching a few rounds of... An all-out slugfest. After introducing this law, another one can be passed. Um, new building, fighting arena. Uh, evening bouts will reduce discontent. Um, no, that's not really yet what I want. Uh, we will establish a burial ground so we can lay our dead to rest with dignity and respect. We'll keep dead bodies out of the heat zone and cover them with the snow. The cold will halt their decay. Um, new building, snow pit. No risk of disease from unburied bodies. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. You will have to dig a snow pit. Hope will fall. Discontent will rise. Each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours. You will have to establish a cemetery. No risk of disease. Hope will rise slightly. New building cemetery. This is tricky. Child labor. Safe jobs. Uh, there aren't enough hands to do all the work. Will allow children to be employed in safe workplaces like cookhouses or hothouses. After introducing this law, another one can pass. Children can work in safe workplaces 
Hope will fall slightly. Children, child workers can be injured in accidents. Uh, child shelters. Children will be safer if they stay in child shelters during the day and they won't cause any mischief. Um, you get a child shelter. Hope will rise. Providing all children with a place in a child shelter gives a permanent hope bonus. You will have to build a child shelter. Wow. This is really tough. There's some really, really tough, tough decisions to be made here. Um, boy, they give you, like, they, there's so many ups and downs. Food additives. We can add sawdust to meals to make them more filling, although not exactly tasty or healthy. Ugh. New recipe, sawdust meal available in cookhouses. Hope we're fall slightly discontent. No. We can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. Uh, hope will fall slightly. Discontent will rise slightly. Eating soup will cause discontent. Um, they both suck. I'm going to sign the soup one, though. Soup can be served in the cookhouse. Yeah, I've got people that are hungry, too. Um, standard meal cookhouse will produce four food rations with two raw food. Cookhouse will produce five food rations with two raw food. So I guess soup it is. People are hungry, lack of shelter. So hopefully food starts getting cooked tomorrow because we don't have any food rations. That's obviously very important. And then now getting the rest of our tents up is going to be pretty big too. Um, but we're actually going to go for the workstation next. So let's get that up and running. Um, not well, as soon as everybody's awake, I guess. And we've got more people that are sick. And lots of people hungry and homeless. Boy, discontent's going to outrun hope rapidly if we don't get something going. So people need to get to work. Like sooner rather than later. Five a day. Hunters will set out to bring in. So we've brought in barely anything. I do have five. I put everybody on food. I don't think coal is as important. We have about three days worth of coal. Ooh. Ooh. Yikes. How are we going to survive this? Oh, we need to research that next area. Boy, this is tough. All right. Uh, hope and discontent. Levels are crucial for the social stability of the city. There are many factors that can affect them. The most important are people's needs, buildings, laws, and abilities. Hope and discontent also change due to random events and to the death of your people. Uh, use the workshop to develop new buildings and improvements. So, yep, tech tree, you can boost research speed by building several workshops. Oh, cool. Uh, research is upgrouped in tiers. You have to research a tier upgrade before you can start researching technology in that tier. Research in each topic costs resources and takes time. So I want to do some researching. And there's a lot of it. Heating, exploration and industry, resources, food, health, and shelter. Heating's probably pretty important. I'd imagine food, health, and shelters is even more important, especially the shelter part. Hot house, a bunk house. See, that's what I want. So... Um, let's, okay, yeah, we got to get some engineers employed. So let's definitely throw, honestly, uh, max engineers on this and go for hunter's gear, which is going to take some wood. And then people are eating now, which is, <clears throat> which is really good. In extreme circumstances, the generator can be put into overdrive. This will increase the heat it provides, but also put the generator under stress. 
Keep an eye on the stress gauge. When it reaches 100%, the generator will explode. Ah, uh, uh, whoa. Overdrive that puppy. That is lowering our discontent because people now are eating. Which is good. Getting more people in shelters would probably help too. Which is why I want to research the better shelter. Coal pile depleted. Oh, we actually depleted one. Uh. So we'll just overdrive that in days like today. Seems to be working well. Try to keep everybody from getting sick if we can. We finally have treated. We've only got... Oh, we're down to three people now that are sick. Still have those homeless and those hungry people, but at least it's going down. So people are starting to do better. Um, maybe I shouldn't be doing the soup, though. Maybe I should be doing the standard meals. Anything to make discontent not rise. So let's do the better meals for for now. Wood crates depleted. Ugh. Put people on those wood crates then. I'm not going to turn the overdrive up. Temperature's going to rise. Ooh, we got a citizen who's gravely ill. <clears throat> One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if people have to work in such cold. We must do something. Consider signing the radical treatment or sustain life law. Um, so, sustain life. We can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputations with radical treatment. No, um, we can't. We have to wait six more hours, but the gravely ill will be kept alive but untreated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. Discontent will rise slightly. The gravely ill will not be treated and remain a burden. The gravely ill will take up beds in medical posts. The gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. 30% of the gravely ill treated in medical posts will be left as amputees. Discontent will rise slightly. Oh, uh, I'm going to go for radical treatment, unfortunately. <laughs> I sound like I'm, I'm an awful person, clearly. Uh, but that I don't want them just sitting around doing nothing, and I... I really can't afford them to be doing that. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they'll st they're still out there. She wants them to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. We'll do what we can. All right, well, I'm, I'll get the beacon up. I want to get more food first. That, that was important. I've got my best engineers on this. Damn it. We have no more raw food. We've turned it all into food rations. So everybody just relax, please. I guess we could put another tent up just for the sake of the fact that people are... I mean, boy, I... Hate to waste that spot for another tent. I don't know what else I would put up, though. Put up another workshop. We could go nuts in here. I would love to see how much... Once this is done, I want to take a look and see... I'm sure I can go to this screen here. Yeah. I'm not going to abort it, but I want to see this. The bunkhouse. Ah, I can't see it. I'm assuming it's next, though. Medical post, flying under, cookhouse, insulation, house. So the bunkhouse, I'm hoping, holds more people, and I can upgrade everything to bunkhouse really, really quickly. Resources, probably going to be pretty important. Ah, but we got to get the beacon. Damn, this game. It, ugh, it puts you in some really tough situations. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> puts you in some really tough situations. One sick, one gravely. People being treated. Hunger is, on, is dropping, so... I feel like there's a lot more that can raise discontent versus things that raise uh, hope. About three days worth of coal. I've got 15 workers on that. Okay, hunter's gear researched. So, uh, hunters will return with up to 20 food, so that's good. I think that's going to be pretty important. We definitely need new research. Uh, drawing boards. 
Do I go for that or do I go for the beacon? Let me get the beacon done because at least with the beacon, that will start getting uh, getting us more workers, which we need, and can complete this, which I'm hoping is going to give us some more hope uh, once we can start looking for people. That's kind of what I'm banking on. I guess we can fast forward a little bit. We've got enough food to last us. It doesn't say, but we do have an, a lot of food. People are still hungry, but that number is dropping. We can introduce a new law. So let's go ahead and definitely do the radical treatment. Let's see. At least we'll be saving lives. So people actually did like that. Well, there was a mix, obviously a mixed opinion on it. But hope did go up. It was a desirable law, believe it or not. Controversial. One controversial law. One people ignored. 40 homeless. Okay. So we balanced the hope. It was looking a little dicey there, but we balanced it. Well, obviously, we're going to fast forward right today because that makes sense. I hate to see all these people sleeping. Also, what's the stress of the generator? We're going to have to turn that off. Boy, I don't know if that's a good idea, though. I guess I can keep it on. I just got to really watch this and hope that the temperature drops before. Uh, I'm hoping the temperature drops today. We got a ton of sick people already, and there's five being treated with four just roaming around. At least Hope is doing all right. Give me some warm temperature. We're actually going to turn that off whilst people are closer to the generator. Now, people are cold. They're chilly. They're not cold. They're chilly. No, chilly's not bad. We'll have this beacon research done today. We'll probably start a new research. I'd like to get more. I'd like to basically get these homeless people taken care of. I want to take it kind of one step at a time. I don't want to jump into... Jump into too many things at once. I don't want to overload ourselves here. We are falling behind a little bit on the coal. Uh, but I don't have any workers to really deal with that. We're almost to the temperature rise, which will be nice. Negative 40 is cold. Um, hunters should be coming back with more food, which will turn into food rations. Thirteen point three. I feel like they didn't bring a whole lot back, but because we didn't, we've only got the hundred and fifty-five. I feel like we didn't get a whole lot of food. <clears throat> I might need to put more workers on that at some point. We're gonna get the beacon though. Then we start finding more people, we can put them to work, which would be great. I'm sure they'll be happy to do it because it'll keep them alive. And we'll be able to, we have three more hours, we're going to be signing another law into effect. God only knows what's next. Extra rations for the ill, overcrowding. Uh, our medical facilities should be fully utilized even if we have to put the patients on the floor. Uh, the capacity of medical facilities is doubled. Using the extra capacity will cause discontent. Discontent will rise slightly. <clears throat> oh my goodness, my voice is... I'm like, my throat's getting scratchy for some reason. Uh, use extra rations in medical facilities to speed up recovery, but you don't get a morale boost from it. You only use extra rations. I don't know if I like that at all. I almost feel like putting <laughs> I almost feel like putting children to work is what I feel like doing. At least then I can put more workers on other things. Uh, I don't really want to raise discontent anymore by passing a, a crappy law, but at the same time, those children are just eating all our food and they're not really doing anything except what appears to be playing. And I'm correct on that they are actually playing. 
Oh, a lot of them don't have homes, though. I feel like if I'm going to put children to work, the least I can do is give them a home. So once we get the beacon, we should work on the drawing board so we can try to get the bunkhouse. Now I can put another tent here. Um, I'm probably going to need another tent anyway, so I may as well have one built. We're probably going to need one because if we get 20 more people, I don't know what these upgrade to and their capacity for holding people. But Maybe discontent will lower if we get 10 more people home. I don't know how that works. Getting rid of the lack of shelter would definitely drop discontent, I believe. Significantly is my feeling. And the beacon has been researched. We can actually build that beacon there. So going back to the technology tree, let's go ahead and now work on the drawing board. I think that's going to be pretty important, except we need 50 whole wood. Holy crap. Yeah, we do not have 50 wood. We could wait. Obviously, we could get like a steam hub, heaters, which would be nice. Uh, faster gathering for 10 woods, not bad. So let's do the faster gathering. Um, frostbite, mild frostbite assistant became gravely ill, so we'll just cut their arm off or something if that's what we got to do. Okay, so I can build the beacon. How do I actually build that? Oh boy, I have to build it here, don't I? Uh, 20 wood and 35 steel for good. So I was bringing them to see, look, it's also spot incoming. So 20 wood, 35 steel. We've got the wood. We're just lacking the two steel. Which we should have here shortly. And a new law. Well, I hate to say it, but we're putting children to work. Oh, it's going to be rough. Listen, Kids should be learning, not working. Yeah, well, guess what? Welcome to the new world. We toil all day and now the kids have to work too. Shut up, Andrew. Shut your mouth. Talk to me, talk to me like that again. I mean, for Christ's sake, Andrew, another coal pile is depleted. You want to freeze to death? I'm trying to keep us alive, damn it. See, now we got 15 children we can put to work. That's how it should be. Damn children, eating all our food, and what, what do we get out of it, you know? Put those damn children to work. And... Where else can I put children to work? Only there, really. But I'm not going to put children to work out here. I'll just make them work at the uh, at those locations. Oh, so coal is doing all right. We seem to be keeping up with it. I'm going towards the next coal deposit. Uh, what has really been an issue? I've got five more workers that are free. Actually, we'll put those five more workers on steel. Oh, actually, put them here. Steel, yeah, steel's important, but you know what else is important? Food's really important. I don't seem to be getting enough of it, so max that out and get me more food. Well, as we slowly work on the faster gathering, which will be handy. So we can build the beacon now. Uh, how does that go? Not adjacent to street, so... I actually would have to build... Oh, okay. I can actually build there. Because for whatever reason, yeah. But no more else. Okay, so I'll build a beacon right here. So that takes up a bulk of my resources, but... Hopefully we'll get more workers out of it. I wouldn't have to put children to work if we got more workers out of it. And I haven't extended anybody's work time. See, I passed the law to do it, but I haven't done it, so people can't hate on me too much. However, we are out of time for this episode. Ooh, I'm getting caught up playing this game. Actually, a little bit over time, but it's a very, very, very fun and easy to kind of fall into game. I feel like two episodes in, I've already kind of gotten a general hang of things. I wouldn't call myself a professional, but I understand the controls, and I kind of like that. 
So I'm excited to see next episode what the beacon does and get a new, a uh, few more people into it. I'm sure by now, uh, based on the laws I've signed, you guys already have uh, formed the pains of me. And I guess that's gonna, <laughs> that's okay. I kind of expected that. <laughs> but um, even though I didn't want to put children to work, at the same time, the colonies, you know, pretty important that we, uh, uh, pretty important that we take care of, you know, the colony. They come first. We can put the children back in schools once we've established, you know, the basic, I guess, necessities for survival. But, yeah, so with that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.